It's a celebration a day early. I just washed these glasses. They're great. No, they're great. <laughs> so Tuesday is National Drink Wine Day. So we were able to set a little something Lipstick up. Stick on my glass. Stop <laughs> it. For my friends here, from the novice drinkers to the most experienced, Bruce, that would have been you, I think. Oh. We all learned something at Cooper's Hawk Tasting Room about the nectar of the gods. Whew, it has been a long day. <laughs> You know, you have a long day, all you really want to do is have a glass of wine with some of your closest friends. Hey, Tina! Because somebody was whining all morning. Uh, now that's something to cheers about. So why don't we indulge? Cheers. cheers! There's nothing like celebrating a random holiday, especially one that carries so much passion. We headed to Cooper's Hawk to talk with the head sommelier of the company. My name is Emily Wines, W-I-N-E-S. Hold on. Your last name is really Wines. It's really Wines. How does that happen? It's just a really good coincidence. <laughs> With a last name like, like Wines, we knew we were in good hands. Do you like wine? Are, Are we the morning show? Like Let the tasting so begin. The Swirl it in your hands like this, mm -hmm. or you can put the glass on the table and draw a little circle with it. And what you're doing there is you're releasing the aromatics. This fancy technique yeah, aerates the wine and improves the taste. I always think of wine, like when you first pull out of a bottle, it's like a little tight rosebud and getting some air to it allows that to open so you can really start to smell the aromas of the wine that's inside. But you don't have to know much to enjoy a glass. If you know what you like, that already makes you a wine expert. No one can tell you what you like. So find something that you like and then from there you can really branch out. In the tasting room, you get to sample eight different wines red and white, sweet and dry, and you can switch out any you might not like. We really like to bring wine to people in a way that's understandable, that's fun, that's not intimidating, and we have such a wide range of wines. There really is something that, that can appeal to all wine drinkers. But I like the other one, too. You don't have to choose. <laughs> and with so much to choose from, you're bound to like more than just one. Who doesn't like wine tasting? It's, uh, it's an opportunity for people to really connect as a community, come together with friends, make new friends. Uh, it is one of, the, one of the most popular things in our restaurant. And it's easy to understand why. Cheers. Where everybody knows your name. Cheers, cheers, Lena. Lena. Now you know you, you have to drink after you say cheers. Don't worry. It will not be a problem. <laughs> It's not a problem. All right, so we have a really special bottle. I, we all pretty much agreed that it was our favorite, so let's turn it around. It's um, Emily Wines actually helped to create this wine. It was one of her favorites. It's part of the Camille series, Camille Brave. So it is, and I love her description, sexy, luscious, loud, voluptuous, and intense, right? I think it describes us on the morning show. <laughs> <laughs> so it represents strong woman, and she said the face on the label is someone that every woman can relate to. So I'm going to pour it because we're going to taste it once Ooh, again. Oh, that's a heavy pour. Well, okay. It'll be okay. Did you guys have <laughs> breakfast? <laughs> it's a morning you pour. You eat before coffee. You know. yeah. Oh, you know what? And I'm doing it wrong because, guys, didn't we learn that you're supposed right. to hold it? Yeah, yeah don't warm it, right? This is not easy. Yeah. You know, we it's learned a lot. Fun. I mean, I think uh -huh. the other the other thing was, what did, Jen, I feel like you learned something. Do you remember? <laughs> here's, <laughs> I learned something. Here's, here's what Jen learned. Swirl. I'd rather have a bottle in front of me than have a frontal lobotomy. <laughs> oh, is that what I learned? All right, so swirl it. Okay. And then just okay. make things up. But mm, I think I smell crayons. <laughs> Ooh, is that leather and tobacco? Ooh. It smells like an old book. <laughs> no, it's delicious. Okay, what did, so Bruce was sort of the expert on the smell. Do you he remember? Was okay, so what do you smell, Bruce? All right. Uh, this is uh, this is a, a dark cherry, mm -hmm. and it does have a little bit of chocolate. Is that Skechers? You smell I smell Skechers. Does it smell sexy and luscious? All of that good stuff? Voluptuous? I yeah. smell voluptuous. Lena, you, you were interesting because you liked sweet wine, but you I, opened your palate. I, I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did, and um, I actually had some of this this weekend when my uh, boyfriend cooked us dinner for Valentine's Day, so I had a little Aww. bit of it, and it was really good. Oh, yeah, my boo. Yeah, he made up some filet mignon and oh. some lobster tails, and we had this with it. It was really good. It's a perfect mix. You know when you get cheersing? toothpicks stuck in your teeth yeah. sometimes and you get a piece of meat? It kind of has that flavor. Well, you better <laughs> stop. Well, that sounds wonderful. You better we better stop. drink it before so he cheers. changes their mind. I, th I think and I'm a professional. Is, is that why Is that why you have the, uh, the ribbon on top of the toothpicks so you can find it. Oh, it's yeah. exactly oh, it. Yeah. So National Drink Wine Day is tomorrow, so if you like to indulge, it is a great excuse. And then National Wine Day is in May. Okay. So we'll be, back. we'll be back. 53 okay. in the morning, but. Well, this one, National Wine Day is every day. <laughs> well, W-H-I-N-E, right? It yeah. tastes like a mud puddle before oh, the splash. <laughs> we'll be back after the break.